Hey everybody, how's it going? So, uh, I'm gonna be trying three different ramen from the Umai crate that I got. And I'm not gonna be eating them all in one sitting because, uh, first of all, I mean, I could, but I don't want to because I want to enjoy them. And secondly, because I want to enjoy them. So, whatever, man. Uh, but I'm gonna pick three of them and film these on separate days and put them all in one video. So, the first one is black pepper crab. This is a cup noodle. Sounds promising. All right, here we go. Three minutes is up. Smells pretty good. It's got a good seafood taste. The noodles are, you know, cup noodle noodles, so they're nothing, you know, too amazing. But they're not bad. They're serviceable. Here's a closer look. You can see they got some cra little bits of gra crab in there, even some real crab, probably, or maybe imitation. But yeah, you can you can see them at least. That's pretty impressive. There's a nice mild heat to this. Like I'm impressed that I can actually feel a slight heat. Let's try a piece of crab. They're very thin pieces of crab. Tastes more like imitation, but I'm not sure. Not bad though. Nothing wrong with imitation crab, honestly. It's a nice little sweetness. Yeah, I'd say this is like your typical seafood ramen, um, but with a little bit of a kick with the black pepper. The black pepper taste is good. I don't know how much I'd say this tastes like crab necessarily, um, but I would say it's a step up from your typical seafood cup noodle. So I like it. Let's try just the broth. Yeah, that's got a little it's got a little kick to it actually. A nice peppery, black peppery kick. I like it. Kind of my kimchi here. You know, I bought this new jar today because we were severely lacking in kimchi. Yeah, overall, I'd say pretty good. Um, nothing too mind-blowing, but it's definitely a step up from your typical seafood um, instant ramen. And I do like the black pepper taste. I taste that more than the crab, but not bad. All right, here we go with ramen number two. Um, I already opened it because I forgot to show it to the camera. Um, this is the, what's it called? Old Ocean Flavor Ramen. Uh, has a delicious shrimp seafood shellfish flavor. So we'll see how that is. All right, got my kimchi, which is essential, of course. Smells very seafoody. Let's see how eat the tastes. It's a nice light taste, um, not too salty actually, kind of um, almost refreshing, like the ocean, I suppose. Um, it's definitely a milder broth. Here's how it looks, you got some, I think this is probably little bits of seaweed maybe, or some kind of vegetable, but yeah, just kind of like a nice, kind of clear light broth. Uh, the noodles are pretty good, like a nice middle ground firmness. Let's get a little bit of that seaweed or whatever that is with the noodles, see how it tastes. Mm. Yep, so those are seaweed pieces, which are a nice little um, accompaniment to the noodles. And this, I'm not sure what that is, if that's kind of like a shrimp thing. There's little pieces on here. Oh yeah, it's like a little shrimp piece. So. The um, sort of ingredient flakes are like not huge, but they actually are, they actually, you can actually taste them, which I always like. So yeah, this is just a nice, pleasant seafood kind of ramen. Um, very light taste. Let me try the broth. Yep, just, again, not super salty, which uh, I actually like. It's a nice change of pace from a lot of other instant ramen, which are very salty. So let's get some kimchi. All in all, good stuff. If you like your um, instant ramen kind of lighter and not too salty, and you like kind of like a refreshing kind of light seafood taste, Old Ocean, that's what it's called, Old Ocean? Yeah, Old Ocean flavor ramen. It's good stuff. Here's the FF Tom Yum Seafood. Again, in my uh, apparently delirious hunger, um, I have forgotten to show <laughs> the packaging. So uh, it's the Tom Yum uh, instant noodle. 
So, it looks like this, kind of. Whatever. It'll look like that, probably. Yummy, yummy. Now, what's cool about this one is you actually put it in this plastic bowl and put a top on. Usually with instant noodles, you, like, pour it in, like, peel off the top halfway, pour it in. It's, like, kind of a... But this is just a straight-up bowl. It doesn't say how much to put in, so I'm just gonna put in as much as it... So it'll, like, cover the noodle. As you can see, I have changed shirts because every time I eat ramen with a very bright colored broth, I always inevitably end up getting some splatter on my white t-shirt. So, I'm not gonna do that this time. I'm just gonna eat it with this shirt. So, you can definitely smell this. It definitely smells like Tom Yum. It has that kind of, um, cause there's like lemongrass and there's a whole bunch of different spices in here. Um, kaffir lime, yeah, definitely you can smell that lime. Galang gal, I don't even know what that is. Um, so yeah, it definitely smells very, um, distinct. It's pretty good. I've always liked with Tom Yum Soup, and not that this is like a full flavor Tom Yum Soup, obviously it's instant, but I've always liked the kind of nice mixture of spicy and sweet. Um, you can definitely taste the lime in there, um, and also just the different aromatics. The noodles are okay. They're a little thin for my taste. Um, I kind of like my noodles with a little more substance and chew to them, but they're not bad. It comes with a little fork, which um, I'm not gonna bother with. It does not pick it up very well. Here's a look at the broth. Um, it's very, very brightly kind of orange, um, which is appealing. And you can see the little vegetables floating around, which are okay. They're not the best um, instant vegetables I've had, but they're fine, they're serviceable. Let's try some of this broth. Oh, that's hot, because the bowl is very plastic. Yeah, you can definitely taste that lime, that spice and that lime. Um, yeah, that's pretty satisfying. I've never had Tom Yum. Um, I highly recommend you go try it. This is obviously the poor man's version, but so, you know, it, I think it manages to capture the taste of it pretty well. Um, but I also recommend to go eat the real thing. Honestly, Thai food in general is so good. And if you haven't had Thai food, I really would suggest you go check it out. Because um, it's delicious. Alright, for this video, I'm just going to do three of them. Uh, I'll do another video. There's four other ones, and I'll make a separate video. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed these three different ramen, and uh, there'll be more in the future, so peace.